hey, room service. Finally. I'm starting to wonder who I had to kill to get some B negative around here. Touchy, aren't we? Worried I'll leave a bad review? Oh, well, you should be. The service is shit, and if I'm being honest, the concrete floor is very disappointing. Cobblestone is a must if you don't want the place to feel like a repurposed basement. Sorry, was the crash diet supposed to make me less snarky? Hate to break it to you, Captain, but even with the starvation setting in, I'm planning to dedicate all remaining energy reserves to being a pain in the neck. What can I say? It's part of my charm. I see you brought fresh me with you tonight. Two new faces. That bodes well. I'm gonna toss one of the trainees in here and see what happens. Shame. I could use the enrichment. You should start handing out coloring books or activity sheets or something. Hell, I'd take a Rubik's Cube right about now, and I've never finished one of those damn things. Every time I get more than five minutes in, I think, you know what? <clears throat> I could be buried in someone's jugular right now. So, I go do that instead. Guessing from the furious note-taking from Clipboard over there that we've got a stenographer on our hands. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Specs. You've got lovely eyes. You should come over here where I can see them a little better. Maybe even... <clears throat> Fuck, come on. I was barely trying to thrall the kid. You don't have to break out the holy water just because some desk jockey can't hold out against a few sweet nothings. Train your scribes better. Figure out a mic that doesn't fuzz out around vampires. Go ahead. Spray me again. Hell, dump a whole bucket over me. Witch of the West style. Good luck getting information out of some acid pit of bones. Oh, good. We're going down the whole list of questions again. Can't I just say 15, go fuck yourselves, and call it done? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fu You know, I'm, I'm just going to ignore you. Do my own thing. Roll call. Captain, clipboard, and... Awful quiet over there, door number three. What's the matter? Are you as bored by this shit as I am? Uh, seriously, Captain, I'm not answering. Mark the night off as a lost cause already, or send your mad scientists in. I'm not a fan of being shot up with mystery juice, but at least their questions are interesting. I could quote off the rest of your list in my sleep. <laughs> Try me. What is your position in vampire society? Where will the next soiree be held, and who will be hosting? Do you know the locations of any other nests? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and for the record, the whole nest thing? Yeah, super dumb. I mean, we're not goddamn birds. We live in houses. Like, you know, people. Well, <laughs> most of us. You do get the occasional mausoleum dweller, but with the housing market how it is lately, can you really blame them? Ooh, I'm so scared. Last chance to answer. Did you learn your interrogation skills from watching shitty action movies, or is the cheesiness homegrown? I love you too. Night, Captain. Night, clipboard. And hello, Cupcake. Nice of you to stick around. I don't think I've ever seen you this reserved. What, just being around your boss make you skittish? Or is someone feeling a little guilty? Oh, I feel great. I was just razzing the Captain earlier. This setup is five stars. I'm thinking of remodeling my place to be just like it. No modern comforts. A breeding ground for back problems, if it wasn't for the vampire thing. Handcuffs. Well, I have the handcuffs already, but you get the point. Look, if you're here to gloat, can we just get on with it already? The faux concern is weirding me out. Yeah, gloat. Or, wait, is it called something different when you're the hero? I can't really think of a good alternative. Rubbing it in sounds worse. Bragging isn't any better. I guess you could call it relishing your triumph. But that makes it sound like you actually beat me, and, and I don't think what happened counts. Now I guess I have to give you points for the betrayal. Here I was, thinking you were more honorable than that. No, no, I get it. I thought it was weird that you were being so compliant about owing me. I should have seen the whole thing coming. Lull the big scary vampire into a false sense of complacency. Wait until you have concrete dinner plans and bam, spring your trap. 
Right. You expect me to believe a whole team of vampire hunters just happened to show up on the night we were supposed to be meeting. Nice try. Did your boss put you up to playing good cop? What is she then? Chapter director. Yeah, that still sounds like your boss. Oh God, don't try to explain the difference. Aren't I being tortured enough already? I don't need a lecture on top of hunger pains. <sighs> Having you standing by so close is bad enough. <sighs> hmm. Nope. I'm going to stare where I want, Hunter. And your face isn't really keeping my attention with how starved I am. Not that you've got a lot of neck to be ogling right now. Could you do me a favor and pop a couple of those buttons? For old time's sake. Joy killer. If you're telling the truth, and I don't actually believe you, by the way, just making that clear, you better hope they don't crack my phone. I've got all those pretty pictures of your veins in there, Cupcake, and I don't think those compromising positions are going to be great for your career. But what do I know? <laughs> uh, and suddenly your face has my full attention again. You blush so nicely, Cupcake. You should come a little closer. Let me see. I just... I just want to see. <sighs> come on. I'm cuffed anyway. We've got these bars between us. You're totally safe, so just take a step forward. I won't try anything. I promise. Just a few feet closer. A foot. Anything. I need... I need... You. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I think I'm going to embarrass myself if you hang around much longer. <sighs> I'm kind of holding on by a thread over here. <sighs> You've always tested my self-control, but this... This is something else. I want to swallow you whole, and for the first time, I think I might actually do it. <sighs> I didn't think it was going to end like this. I thought it would be my teeth in your throat or your steak in my chest, not starvation. Not other hunters poking and prodding me. Bringing in other players was always against the rules of our little cat and mouse game. Or at least I thought it was. But I was projecting, wasn't I? Because I don't like to share. I'm not holding out because I give a shit about other vampires. Not more than I give a shit about me. Look out for number one and all that. Like I always said. But I'm not giving Captain Cold the satisfaction. And it's not like talking would save my ass. I'm dead anyway. I... You still owe me, you know. If that still matters. And I don't... I don't want to starve, okay? It's the worst way you can go. When you turn, you wake up with this... this hunger. And it's not like human hunger. It's so much worse than that. It's not like having an empty stomach. It's like being empty. Like you're made of nothing. And... and you'd do anything to never feel that again. You don't care who you kill or who you have to betray. You'll eat friends if you get hungry enough. Family. Lovers. Anything to hold off that emptiness. I just... I just don't want to starve. You know what I'm saying, right? You understand? Cupcake? Cupcake, wait! Hunter! Come back! Don't just run off now. You can't just run off now. This isn't fair. You owe me, Hunter. You... You can't just leave me. Finish me off, you fucking coward. Please. <sighs> Who's that? A cupcake. Oh, shit. Hey there. Are you here to kill me, or am I hallucinating? Because it could go either way. 
I think I'm pretty far gone by now. Can, can you smell hallucinations or hear them? <laughs> Fuck. My kingdom for Google. Well, that's exactly what a hallucination would say, isn't it? I should probably stop talking to you. Partly because you might not be real, but mostly because my throat's dry enough as is. Hard to stop, though. The talking's keeping me focused on something other than, you know, lunging at the bars. Which wouldn't end well for me with the cuffs and all. I'd just wind up shredding my wrists. I'm not sure I have enough blood left in me to heal that again. What does you expect? I'm starving. I'm gonna go for anything with a pulse, even if it is a hallucination. Lucky you didn't appear inside the cell or I might not actually be able to... Hold back. Oh, fuck, here, come here. You taste so fucking good, I mean... Uh, uh, uh. What? What the fuck was that? I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel anything. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. At least my wrists don't hurt anymore. First time you managed to hit my heart and it's because I'm chained to chain of the wall. That doesn't count. It totally doesn't count. And now you're dumping a bag of dirt on the floor. Of course. Because this visit couldn't get any weirder. Wait. Shit. That's, that's vampire ash. You brought a backpack full of vampire ash down here with you. Is that a threat? Because the nuance is kind of lost on me right now. It feels like my brain's wrapped in cotton. What are you... That was stupid of you. You've never been smart, Cupcake, but you should have known better than to take away the one thing keeping me from ripping your throat out. So that was a paralactic you shot me with then. Oh no, please, laugh it up. I love lying face down on a filthy cell floor. One of my favorite activities. Fuck, this is embarrassing. I can't even stand on my own two feet. What? Oh, right. I did say that. I guess it's your turn to be the pack horse, Cupcake. And I'll just lie here in your nice arms. I can feel your heartbeat through your skin, you know. Fuck, I wanna get you so badly. I know full fucking well I'd get you this creek if I tried it, and yet I'd still drink you dry if I could move enough to manage it. No, I, I definitely want you to continue the jailbreak, thanks. I'm just, well, how long does whatever you shot me with last? Asking for a friend. The friend isn't you, and that's not the point. The point is, it's not up to me right now if I kill you, so I hope for both of our sakes you actually read what Wild put on the fucking instructions this time. Sure, you always read the instructions. You know I went through your car, right? Oh, there are so many fucking stairs. Why are there so many fucking stairs? How deep underground is your torture basement? I'm making conversation, Cupcake. Like I said, it's helping me focus on... Not something other than the sound of your heartbeat. So indulge me, yeah? Tell me about the underground doomsday bunker. Point taken. 
I guess it is harder to escape if you can't just jump out a window. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> joking, Hunter. Joking. You know I prefer breakfast in bed anyway. Cross my heart not to toss you in a basement next chance I get. Speaking of hearts, what a sudden change of yours. Did I manage to look pathetic enough to get on the other side of your curio complex? Because I imagine you could have seen that coming. You work here, you had to have known what would happen next once you got me captured. I'm not going to shut up, I want an answer to- Oh shit, shit, okay, shutting up. <sighs> no way you heard him coming before I did. You're timing this between rounds. Using insider knowledge to get me out. Shit, Hunter, that's almost devious. You'll make me proud if you're not careful. I want to rub in the fact that you're betraying the association, but I also don't want you to change your mind about it. You put me in a very difficult position, Dark Knight. Fresh air. Damn. It's been a while. Did you just strap me in? No, really, why, why even bother? A car crash isn't gonna... Well, actually, it might just do me in right now. I haven't felt this weak since I turned. Fine. Thank you for buckling me in. It was considerate of you. You never answered me. No, not about the seatbelt. Why did you decide to save me? The fuck does that have to do with anything? All right, all right, yes. I know a vampire named Boris. Great guy, fun at parties. Would have been on my birthday this year if shit didn't go sideways. Can you answer the question now, or? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it really wasn't you who turned me in. I can't believe it. Last time I invite Bor over, I'll tell you that much. What? Ah, okay. I guess it really was the last time. No, I wouldn't have forgiven him, but... Well, it's, it's one thing to say that you're not friends with the guy anymore, and another to know that he's Ash. He wasn't the one you dumped out in the cell, was he? Okay, good. That would have been, well, I mean, poetic or something, but I don't know how I'd feel about having him on my pant cuffs right now. It wasn't guilt that made you bust me out then. Yeah, I guess I'm not the only one who doesn't like to share. So, where are we going exactly? And how long until we get there? No, I'm not tired. I'm just... Okay, yeah, I'm tired, okay? I'm hungry, I'm hurt. I can't really move. Which, as we've established, isn't a bad thing. Then crash this car trying to get at your jugular. But, you know, it smells like you in here. And that's... So, I might just... Uh, yeah.